Hey people, um, it's been a while, but this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 41 of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I know I haven't been around a lot lately, and that's basically because of, yeah, shut up, Navi. Basically because of school and stuff. Like, I had exams, but now my all my exams are over, so I'm finally on summer vacation. And, um, um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Plus, I was watching the Speed Gamers Mario Marathon. Uh, if you know anything about that, you're awesome. But basically, they raised like fifty-seven thousand dollars for actually. Damn it! Where is it? Um. Yeah, they raised fifty-seven thousand dollars for Act Today, I think, which is autism care and treatment, which is so awesome. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking for a hole in the ground around here. But I'm not finding it, so I'm just going to leave. Yeah, you're probably wondering, why am I in Kakariko Village in the first place? I was in Lake Hylia in the end of the last episode. Well, basically, I was looking for some money so I could do that thing at Lon Lon Ranch that I've been dying to do. But, I couldn't find any. Uh, here maybe? I don't know. Nah. I'm just screwing around now. Okay, I better just get going here. What do you say? Yeah, so anyways, um... That's basically why I haven't been around lately. Uh, Just watching the marathon for the past week and, um... School. But now that I'm done with all that, it'll be a clear schedule from here on out. Basically one every day, except maybe today. I might post a few today, just make up for my lost time. Don't do that, Link, you stupid. Why would you take out your ocarina right now? That's just a retard move. Okay, so now we're really gonna go to Lake Hylia, I guess. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just cut there. You know what that's what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna cut there, so I will see you then. You make the most retarded noises when you're rolling around. Hey guys, we're back in Lake Hylia now, just like I said we would be. So yeah, um, and I, I, there's one other thing I want to clear up. Like I, I remember in the previous episode, I said that there was a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do before going to the first dungeon. But then I decided that I'm just going to do a few things because it would take way too long to do all those things. Plus, you're going to have to do them eventually in the story. So yeah. Anyways, so hey, it's the ocarina. Play that song with it, baby. Well, if I remember, it's been a long time, but I think this is the song. I hope that's it. It looks like it is. Because he's dancing around. He's bopping everywhere. Oh yeah! That's it. That's the tune. You rock. I'm blown away. Oh no, no. I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. I'm like an elephant that way. But I just feel like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre is wandering around. So play the tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him... I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby and he hears that song, baby. Hey, Pierre was one of the name of one of the guys at the Speed Gamers Marathon. That's awesome. What's with the dramatic music again? I remember this from Death Mountain. Get away, Tektite. Stupid. But anyways, yeah, basically that means whenever you play this song in certain areas, like this one, for instance, this is one of the areas I'm talking about, Pierre will appear and you'll be able to hookshot onto him to get to new places. Technically, this isn't a new place. This is the fishing hole, which I'm actually going to do right now. Yeah, I know. Uh, because there actually is another reward that you can be had here for you. Hey, mister, I remember you. It's been a long time. It certainly has. It's been like, what, two weeks? Maybe more? How many years has it been? Seven years? What have you been doing all this time? I've been sleeping. You're my only customer. I'm almost out of business. Seriously. On top of that, my hair. Uh, I mean, never mind. Well, do you want to go fishing? It costs only 20 rupees. That's just barely... I, I barely have that much. Yeah, I don't have a rumble pack, whatever. Okay, I don't care. Let's fish. Sweet. Basically, it's the same rules as last time. Just try to catch the biggest fish. And, um... Yeah, you'll get the reward. Hopefully I can get as lucky as I did last time. I mean, I got it the first try, if, if I remember correctly. And I believe he's going to be in the same spot, too. I think that's the area that he'll be in right over there. So let's try. We'll fish out to that area. 
Oh snap, I got him. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this thing, Link. I don't know if this is the right one. I don't think it is. Could be. You never know. No, that's not him. That's like, what? Five pounds? Eight pounds, fine. No, I don't want to keep that, because that's shit. Oh, wait, is that him? Could be. Let's see. I can't see him from this far on this tiny little screen on my computer. But, eh, whatever. Oh, come on. Come on, big fella. Don't be afraid. Just grab the thing. You're pretty big, too. Grab No, grab the hook, you stupid fish. At least he stays out there. That's nice. Alright. Well, it looks like we're not getting as lucky this time. Especially... Oh my god. I was about to say, especially when the fish won't grab it, but... Looks like we got a pull this time. And I'm lagging out. Oh my god. Luckily, in this game, lag isn't such a big deal. Because I'm just holding the A button, pulling the control stick back. Not much to it. Come on, you big fish's ass. Instead of horse's ass, you know. Anyways, about that hole in Kakarika Village, it has a chest containing 200 rupees in it. I'll probably find that off screen at some point so I can show you, because it's a pretty awesome area, actually. I never knew it existed until I watched it in a different video. No plugs for other people, though. I've done that in the past, I think. Come on, you fish. I just know this guy's gonna let go at some point. Although I thought that with the first fish when I was a child, too, but he never let go. He was the right fish, too. I think, personally, I think this is the right fish as well, but... Cause just because just he's putting in such a fight. Oh my god. But slowly, he's getting closer. If, like, he is getting closer. Very, very slowly. Um, this doesn't exactly make for great video footage, but whatever. Come on, I don't have a lot of time left. I have like, what, three minutes maybe? Three minutes and a bit? Three and a half minutes? Three minutes and nine eighths? No, not quite that much. Come on, he's getting closer. He's he's starting to lose his momentum. Pull him in, Link. Yes! Oh, whoa, that is one big-ass fish. It's a real lunker. Let's see, it weighs 19. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever caught a fish that's actually that big. I, I don't know. I might have. Do you want to keep it? Yes. Let's go. Let's go turn this into that guy. See what he says about our 19-pounder. Seriously, if this is the right fish, I will be astonished that I'm getting so lucky in this fishing game. Normally I'm here for hours and hours in both of them, in the trial one and the other one. Okay, do weigh my fish. Let's talk about something I want to quit. Those are the same three options you had seven years ago, you stupid. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 19 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here is your prize. Stop lagging out, please. I won't get the prize until you- Okay, let's stop lagging out. And we get the golden scale. Oh, yes. Bitches. You can now d jump into water and dive much deeper than ever before. Hey, oh yeah, I have to return the fishing rod. Didn't I do that when I was a child too? That was stupid. I want to quit. Okay. And now we never have to come here and see your ugly mug again. Thank you for all the nice prizes though. Anyway, so there's a few things we can do with that golden scale now. Namely, get some uh, heart pieces that I can think of. And yeah, basically before the forest temple, or like, the f yeah, the forest temple dungeon, I'm going to be getting a few heart pieces, maybe a skull or two, I can't really think of that many. And then, um, I'm going to do a certain side quest, just because I want to get it out of the way, because it's a long side quest. Maybe some of you know what I'm talking about, I don't know. Anyway, so you come in here, and with the golden scale, you can dive all the way down to the very, very bottom. And if you touch the bottom, which you will, and you'll hear that sound, and you come up, 
You can get out of the water, and I think this guy will start talking to you. Or maybe you have to talk to him. And he's like, You may not notice, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic! I'll give this to you. He gives you... A piece of heart! Now you can collect, now you've collected three pieces, and I know where there is another one, actually. I think. And, oh yeah, we're also going to be doing that thing at Long Long Ranch once you get enough rupees. Oh my god. I'm going to start working up rupees from cutting grass here. Anyway, so guys, looks like we're just about out of time here. Uh, yeah, so I guess in the next episode, which you should be seeing today, uh, we will do more crap. Get more heart pieces, get a skeletal or two. Yeah. So, and hopefully I'll f have found that hole in Kakariko. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.